Hey there, I'm Rick Hines, the AMP guy at Fender. I'm Stan Cody, a product designer at Fender. And we're here to talk about the Mirror Image Delay Pedal, a unique and special delay built specifically by us from Fender. Stan, can you tell us about this? Yeah, it's a digital delay. Uh, it's got different sounds to it. It's got three different sets of algorithms. It's got a really simple, easy to navigate feature set. The user interface is one knob per function, so it's really easy to fly around on. And we can kind of walk through the features and some of the sounds. Rick will play a little bit while we check some stuff out. Three different sets of algorithms. There's digital type delays, analog, and tape delays. We'll go through them one at a time. Let's start with the digital delays. The digital delay is a straight up pure delay sound. It's just more of your same signal. Um, there's two variations of it. The second variation is actually a double tracker, which is really fun. So it'll provide a second tone along with you playing and it kind of randomizes it a little bit. So you can kind of hear some tuning and pitch variations in there. Um, we'll switch over to the analog delay now. This is the first analog delay. The first one is a little cleaner than the second one. All of the delays have modulation, so I'll add some modulation. You can hear the natural chorusing that happens. And of course you can change the rate of that so you can turn it into more of a vibrato. I'll flip over to the second variation which is again kind of a dirtier, noisier delay. So you can hear the fidelity is a lot worse there. Um, okay, now we'll go look at the tape delay. Tape delays on this incorporate aspects like wow and flutter and noise from the actual tape path uh, and a little bit of distortion as well. So here's the first tape delay. And just like with the analog delay, the second variation is a lower audio quality. On the tape delays, the modulation controls control the aspects of the wound wow flutter. They control the randomness of it which is kind of fun. So that's the basic feature set. Along with that, there's a cool thing where there's a whole second delay in engine running inside that's set to be a dotted eighth note to this delay's quarter note. We'll start with it off, I'll turn it on, and then turn it back off again. One of the cool features of this pedal is it uses a mixed bypass method where when you turn the pedal off, it actually lets the delay portion of it stay intact. It just routes your guitar around it. So you can be at the end of a solo and playing, and when you kick the delay off, the tail of the solo will decay naturally. Meanwhile, you can be playing a shorter rhythm part. So Rick will show you that. One of the great features about the mirror image delay is that it actually has a flip door on the front end. That means you can get to the battery really easy. So if you're playing live and you need to get to the battery, replace it or whatever, you can flip that open, magnetic it seals back up. Um, also, you probably noticed that the, the knobs have their lit up so you can actually see them when you're playing live and figure out uh, where your favorite settings are at. But you can turn that off if you don't need it. The other thing is that there are staggered input and output. So when you've got your pedal board going and you're stacking pedals next to each other, it's going to fit a little closer because you're not going to be butting up against another cable, which is a really great feature. Thanks for checking out the mirror image delay. Stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.